What's up, everyone? About a week ago, we made the trip to the Go Fast Campers HQ in Belgrade, Montana to have our own GFC canopy camper installed on our 2022 Colorado. Before we dive too far into the installation of the new camper, I actually want to roll it back a little bit and talk about the days and weeks leading up to our trip to Montana. In a recent episode, we talked about our growing dissatisfaction with the bed rack and rooftop tent combo that we had been running on the truck for about a year. It was ultimately these experiences coupled with a pretty killer Black Friday sale at GFC that caused me to pull the trigger on the order for our own canopy camper unit. The first step for us was to dismantle and remove both the rack and rooftop tent. Luckily, there's still a pretty high demand for this stuff and I sold both on Facebook Marketplace without any issues. Another project that we wrapped up right before leaving was a pretty significant overhaul of the rear suspension, which included some new two and a half inch reservoir shocks from Radflow that were custom valve for the anticipated weight of the GFC plus some gear. Prior to an installation appointment, you'll receive a pretty detailed email from GFC indicating what sort of condition they want the bed of your truck to be in when you get there and what accessories you can or cannot have attached to the bed prior to arrival. We did try our best to clean out the bed before we left. That included scrubbing off some adhesive that was left behind from the weather seal on our old Diamondback tonneau cover. We scheduled our GFC install appointment for Saturday, July 6th. We hit the road on Wednesday, July 3rd. So that gave us a couple days to make the trip to Belgrade with some stops in between. We stopped and spent the night of the 4th of July in West Yellowstone, Montana, which is a small town located just outside the west entrance to Yellowstone National Park. I've never been there before, but they do a pretty cool celebration for the 4th that includes a parade, live music in their downtown park, as well as fireworks after dark. But really, the primary purpose for this trip, and probably the same reason you clicked on this video, was for that GFC installation appointment. I have to say that my experience with GFC customer service and support has been stellar so far, and that was only reinforced by our experience at the install appointment. Our installer for the day, Finn, is one of the nicest people I've met in quite a few months. If it wasn't for me slowing him down, just talking about trucks and the Pacific Northwest, he probably would have had this camper installed within 20 minutes. The install process started with application of weather seal to the rails of the camper, as well as to the bulkhead of our bed up against the cab. He also took the time to clean the windows before he lowered the camper unit down into place. With the camper in place, the billet bed clamps are secured and torqued down. After the installation, Finn gave me a quick rundown of tent operation and gave me a few tips for sealing the bed against dust and water ingress. If you're in tune with some of the very recent announcements that GFC has made regarding the V2 Pro camper model, you may have noticed that we had what I'm gonna call a V2 standard installed. The other two camper units being installed that day were Pro models, and I may talk about that in a later video. We had to leave Belgrade as soon as the camper install was finished and headed straight to Spokane to visit a longtime friend. I will say that we did take a small fuel economy hit, which I expected. I'll also say that the wind noise above about 60 or 65 miles an hour was a lot less than I thought it would be. So if you're interested in getting your own GFC, I would say stay tuned to the channel. We're gonna have more GFC specific content in the future that might help you make a decision as to whether or not the GFC camper is right for you. Thanks for watching Trash Panda Garage. As always, we appreciate you guys taking the time to watch our videos. And until the next one, get out there, build something.